and my research team are installing the sensor on Purdue Gateway Complex project. So in this project, they were working with Wilhelm Construction to help them determine the strength of the concrete of the beams and the columns. We placed 12 sensors and six of them in the beam and then six of them in the deck. The reason we put in the beam because in this particular project, as you can see, the beam is post-tensioning beam. We need to pull the tendon when concrete reaches to the 3,000 PSI. In the past, this is normally done by historical data, but by using this type of sensor, we can know when exactly we reach that magic number, and then we can get the construction going, so we keep the flow. Traditionally, concrete is measured by concrete test cylinders, and the compressive strength is uh, obtained out of those cylinders. And so in order to continue building, you need um, a specific amount of uh, compressive strength so you can wreck your formwork and continue construction. And you also need a specific strength to uh, stress post-tension cables, which are in the beams behind us. And currently, Wilhelm's been using concrete maturity sensors since 2009, and they give us a more accurate reading of what the in-place strength of the concrete is. The new sensors that we're using today, they're using a different method, and it's all about accuracy of in-place testing of the strength of the concrete. It's a similar to the principle we used in the highway pavement project. The sensor is made of material called the piezoelectric. The piezoelectric material can directly convert mechanical energy into electrical or vice versa. So by using this sensor, what we do is we run through an AC current and then to vibrate the sensor. So therefore, the sensor send a acoustic elastic wave in the concrete. By measuring the resonant frequency of the concrete with that particular wave, we can understand the intrinsic value of the concrete, which is the strength and the stiffness. The methodology that we use currently, uh, the mathematics was like established in the uh, late 50s, early 60s. So something new hasn't happened in concrete maturity since then. So it'll help with the speed uh, and options for contractors to be able to use instead of all the pre-planning that may take place, it might just be decided quicker and say, oh, hey, we want to change the concrete mix design for a specific pour like you see. And instead of needing 28 days prior to, it'll help with the speed and accuracy of predicting the in-place concrete strength.